in the Eastern Cape, communities have had to contend with the effects of the COVID-19 lockdown. And the heavens seem to have also been on lockdown as there's been very little rain since March. Travel restrictions have meant that people have not been able to source water from other areas. Our reporter, Ronald Masinda, is visiting some of these communities. Ronald, a very good afternoon to you again. You were at Dukwa just not so long ago. I don't know if you're still there, but what have you been getting from some of the community members about the dilemma that they find themselves in? Yes, Morena, we are still in a Dujua where, of course, uh, people have really been battling for water. Since the drought started back in 2015, I mean, Morena, early on, of course, we were near the Mputi River where people were telling us that they, they had to resort to getting water supply from an underground burst water pipe. And their battle has really been one that they've had to wait for many days on end for the municipality to supply them with water from various water tanks. But where we are at the moment, this is another part of Etujua where people are getting water. It's a wetland where, you, as you can see, the water is contaminated, murky, very filthy, Morena. And what we heard earlier on from the people we spoke to, they told us, Morena, that disturbing scenes, sometimes seeing... Uh, dead animals in some of these uh, waters and also uh, often they'll see uh, used nappies and many of these people have to drink from these waters. I am going to try and get maybe more comment from one of the people who are here and I dare say Morena that here yeah, we didn't ask people to actually uh, stage this uh, scene. We didn't ask them. This is their daily life. And that's what we have to make very clear from the outset. I'm going to ask this lady to give us a few words, Mama. And then we will talk and then all right, Morena. Um, it seems that the, the, the dire situation here has uh, caused many people to look for various uh, areas for water supply. The lady I just spoke to mentioned a dam that they tried to get water supply when water runs out in areas like like this uh, wetland that we are seeing here. Of course, the issue of uh, water has been one that's been well documented, or the lack thereof has been one that's been well documented uh, during uh, this uh, disaster that's been declared by government. We also heard from uh, Lindiwe Sisulu, uh, the Water and Sanitation Minister, who came here earlier this year, promising to address this issue. And also uh, the, the Premier of the province also saying that the, the province will need uh, approximately around 600 million rand just for starters to try and help uh, communities that are facing this issue. And we also know that the impact that of not having water is such a basic necessity, uh, Morena, but many people here go for days on end without water and it's really a dire situation. Go, I just want to find out, and this is probably something that a lot of our viewers will want to know. You mentioning, and we're seeing that the water that these uh, community members are picking up and, and, and are collecting is dirty. What do they do to make sure that it's water they can actually drink? And that's a difficult part, Morena, because uh, the lady I just spoke to, they, she said they, they try to... Uh, look for different parts of the, the, the areas that they live in. This wetland, they use the water here. Because it's so contaminated, they only use it for washing. They go to other areas where there's uh, 
bit of cleaner water, but it's very, they are very scarce, the areas. And you, as you saw earlier on where we went to uh, near that river where people have uh, lined up buckets uh, to try and get water, the water there is fairly clean. But it's, it's a very rare uh, situation that uh, you will see clean water here. But we also drove around the villages, and the situation there is even worse, Morena, because a lot of the people who are here are from those villages, walking some 10 to 15 kilometers just for water supply. And I, I'm, sure, and I'm sure the viewers can also agree the situation here uh, is dire. And not only here in Dukia, but many parts of the Eastern Cape areas like Rafrenet and Butterworth, which I visited late last year. Rafrenet, Butterworth, we've seen Mayor Lindwe Sulu, the Minister of Water and Sanitation, visiting Kwakwa in the Free State as well, which has had particular dire incidents of water. Um, and hopefully the government can actually attend to these matters a lot quicker than we've probably seen them do in the last couple of years. Ronald Masinda, he is our reporter. He's still at Tukwa visiting and, and speaking to community members who are in a serious situation where the matter of clean and accessible water is concerned.